Welcome to Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. We stand at the Conica National Forest. Here we are. We're in Alabama. Hey, Alabama. Turn left. I'm surprised there was no sign. And there's our sign. Here we go. There's a tree in the water. Ain't this pretty? Well, this has been a short, fun little stay at Open Pond Recreation Area, just north of the Alabama-Florida border. We were just here one night, but we had a nice, big, spacious spot. We took a bike ride around the pond. It's a lot more hilly than Florida was, so that's a bit of a change of pace. And it's starting to get to spring here as well. We're on our way up to Montgomery tonight, and then on to Birmingham. Pups are ready to go. All right. I got a special mission. We're on the roof now, and we have this problem here. See if we drive forward, this branch will scrape us. So I'm here to prevent that. Oh, I gotta get this one. You can pull forward a few feet. Okay, stop. Woo! Hello there, Branch. These are pokey branches. Now we just have to get down. Bye, open pond. Okay, for some reason in the last two or three days, we've been having some really sketchy cell phone service and also some sketchy GPS service and, and being able to find out where we are when we're there and finding our way to our destination. Since that happened, we've really come to realize how great it is to have paper maps or off, you know, an offline map, if you want to call it that. The Road Atlas, and also we've got this handy dandy book called The Next Exit, which will tell you which exits have what at them, whether it's food, whether it's gas, and if it's RV accessible and stuff. Having, having some sort of paper map or some sort of direction without being connected, I think is something um, our generation really takes for granted that we have connectivity almost all the time. But especially in the last few days, we've been really thankful to have these. This is the church where Martin Luther King was pastor. Real near the government building. Welcome to Montgomery, Alabama. We're here once again on bike, as we so like to do. This is a city full of history, and we're gonna check it out. Ouch. It's spring in Alabama. Another local recommendation. Hot dogs. Ready for some hot dogs. Mm. This is world famous hot dogs. Yeah. So this restaurant has been around since 1917. The oldest restaurants, if not the oldest restaurant in this place. There it is. World's famous hot dog. What's really cool about our adventure is that we're going places that are not really touristy. Like Montgomery, I don't think we'd ever stop in Montgomery if it weren't for some adventure like this. Cause, or business or something, I suppose. But, I mean, it's it's there's history here and a lot of cool stuff to see. But you don't go out of your way to go to Montgomery. After hot dogs, we headed to the Rosa Parks Museum and saw the very moving Montgomery Bus Boycott Exhibit. Alabama River. 
We explored more of the town on bike and made our way back to the Tucker Pecan Company near where we had parked to get ice cream. I remember when I saw $2 diesel that I thought it's as low as I'm ever going to see and it's amazing, but check this out. Yep. I'm hoping that's not as slow as I'm going to see, but it's amazing. Alabama win. Jeez, Miss Big. I'm actually really surprised how hilly it is here in Alabama. Definitely not doing as good on fuel in these hills. I mean, it's not bad, 11.9. I'm just used to seeing over 12. 